Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Control. It's time to make some more progress on getting to the Black Rock Quarry. And since the door ahead to the Atlas Chamber and to the processing site is clearly locked, we're going to have to take a few small detours. But the payoff? Let me just tell you, it's worth it. We're coming up to one of the cooler parts of the game. And of course, can't go through. Wait a minute, yeah we can. Uh, that's central maintenance, so that is a shortcut back. Which we won't take, uh, take advantage of just yet. First, we have to reclaim some of the rangers for our own. Uh, and clear this control point out. Oh good, I can have control over more than one at a time, it looks like. Uh, because I didn't lose the mind. Whoa! <laughs> Spicy performance problems. Kinda to be expected, and the rest of the game holds up pretty well. Oh boy, we taxed it though. We're continuing to tax it. There's quite a bit going on. You have to go. Good thing he was right up in my face. No, we can't cleanse it yet. Plus, I still hear the music. So we got a straggler somewhere. Oh, I see you. You're just trying to play hide and seek. Oh, that didn't quite do it. There, I see it now. We can cleanse the control point. And we have one more little oasis in this desert of weird bullshit. Hey, Faith, up here! Let's see, we have this one still active. We'll work on that. Can turn you in. Health recovery, woo, and a uh, random common weapon, which was nothing. But can we construct pierce? Yes, we can! Do we have enough weapon slots to keep that in the shoddy mode? Oh, we're gonna have to see. This might get us closer. Oh, no, wait, that's additional personal mod slot for the next one. Well, let's get C's up there a little bit. This is, uh... Sees an additional enemy. I don't know what the cap is. Uh, with or without that upgrade. Either way, we, we can make uh, some progress towards the additional personal mod slot. Large objects are damaged. I think we want to max launch his damage out first. Oh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to pick. And we only have the two, so... Let's go with the default mode and pierce for now, and we'll just throw something on it. There. Reload speed. It's, that works fine. Uh, so we're going to get two shots worth of energy with this. Uh, as opposed to, say, the standard firing mode in which we get quite a few, or the shotgun mode, which we get slightly less, but still more than two shots. Glad to see you're still you. This one is the charged variety, by the way. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Wells. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Secondary objective, as always, was to find a route from the threshold entrance and maintenance to the formation. Secondary objective was not a success. What is it, Medic, what's the damage? And did you encounter any previously unrecorded events? We need to get to a surgical station ASAP, but I don't think they're stable no, enough to move. Nothing. Oh, yeah? And they're going to have to about the We are moving out, and I am not going to be high. Yeah, the moment. Horowitz here found this mermaid in the quarry, just sitting on some black rock. 
She was singing this beautiful song, and he was overcome with desire. Oh, she was so alluring. I'd say she was more enchanting than alluring. Fine, enchanting. Um, hey, remember did you the tell deal. you about this? The hiss, I no. buy a shot. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Thanks for bringing down that, whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the Bureau is lost. We need Black Rock Prism to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Black Rock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. But Darling's lab is just past Blackrock processing. I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. You've done a good job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. Just sticking around for a second to see if I can talk to him again and get some follow-up questions answered. But nope, not yet. Yeah, let's work hard. His life is in your hands. Your thoroughly washed hands, I hope. These are a lot of bodies. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. Oh, it's just a little preview of the next room, and... Oh, swan boat procedures! The swan boat was haunted. Is the gist. We kind of have a theme developing, you what with the rubber duck. When I first got here. And the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? There's their monster. This thing. All oh, right. This thing will stalk you. By the way, you can only hold the charge on Pierce so long before it just fires itself. So you see the little trail of it stalking me. And when it gets close enough, it reappears. You really have to listen for it. If you want to get the jump on it, or anything even resembling that. Otherwise, it's not too bad. But her delivery, when it first appears, I think it... I think she nailed it so hard. It perfectly sells how caught off guard she is. Let's go up and find Darling's lab. Think of the shit she's seen and heard so far and been pretty unfazed through. And that got her. That got her bewildered. Oh, 
More on her and Darling in a second. And speaking of darling, frequencies match, other dimensions leak in. We call these areas thresholds. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's that's where black rock comes from. You heard that too, right? Matter. Black rock comes from the a threshold. Ari. So the prisms must be there too. Contained. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock Line firebreaks are about. The Panopticon container uh, cells. Sorry to interrupt, sir, but I need the code of the fly elevator. Oh, uh, Emily. The codes. Black Rock 665. Neighbor of the Beast. Get it? <laughs> We can do that again. Cool. So now we know they were mining spooky rocks. This should get us into the quarry. Yes, we are heading straight into a threshold. So remember how I was wrong about Darling being uh, Littlefinger? Well, this is actually Matthew Peretta, uh, also the voice of Alan Wake. Littlefinger's actor, uh, Iden Gillen, or Gillen, was in Quantum Break, a uh, different Remedy game, along with Courtney Hope, who plays Jesse here. Everything here is crazy. Weird, but it feels right. Like how the world should be. I am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions, and I never want to leave. Even with all the horror, I'm happy. Mm. Insane. Just the right kind of insane. Love Pierce. So we previously established Jesse's hometown. Uh, which, where she lived with her brother Dylan was the site of an altered world event, and that that town was named Ordinary, right? Uh, Ordinary is mentioned twice previously in other Remedy games, including both Quantum Break and Alan Wake. Uh, Quantum Break name drops a town in Maine called Ordinary, and there's a hidden, west, uh, a hidden message in Alan Wake's American Nightmare that goes, it'll happen again in another town a town called Ordinary. And that was nearly 10 years ago. Uh, now, as for that line there, I love that choice. It's one of those choices that the writers made that makes Jesse a way more interesting person. What are the types of characters you usually see in stories like this? Uh, bitter, jaded, Resentful of the circumstances are three are, are the big three that I would say see most commonly, but they went out uh, they went uh, in a different direction with Jessie, and it makes her stand out. And her contentedness and and finding her path towards something that whoops feels Okay, at least we can take fall damage. We're all the way back down here, though. Um, her finding her way towards, like, something that she finds fulfilling in this specific line of work is so interesting. There we go. I just need to find my way back to this so we can fast travel back up. Like, it would have been so easy... For them to to write her as the gruff, no nonsense. I'm just here for my brother, and I don't want you FBC bureaucrats getting in my way, kind of character. But they went a different direction, and it's it, it makes her so much more interesting to examine and tr to to try to get into uh, the headspace of. Oh, son of a bitch! I actually can't get 
There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Pierce did not pierce the way I was hoping it would. And I'm, ho I'm hoping I'm not uh, popping my plosives while saying that. Because I do not usually record with a pop filter. I've gotten... Shit, I just need to rush this down, huh? I've gotten decent about uh, watching my plosives because of that uh, throughout the years. Luckily got a decent amount of health back just from that kill. That's gonna be a nice one, two. The second one was even a headshot. That was very, very nice. It's an extraordinary feeling weapon uh, just to fire off. Listen to the way those footsteps echo. You can tell just from the sound alone this place is cavernous. It makes you feel isolated. So we can get through this way. Now that we have that level 5 keycard from Darling's uh, lab. We'll just take a poke around. Nothing really worthwhile. What is this? Ah, just telling us the floor. Elevator's broken. Gotta get down the old-fashioned way. Ah, that's fun. So there is a preset path, but as we saw from the tumble that I took just a few moments ago, uh, you can mitigate quite a bit of fall damage and kind of create your own paths as as long as you're making uh, sad use of your air dashes. So worst case scenario, if I don't follow that predetermined path and I just kind of wing it, I can feel safe and confident that I'll be able to pull that off safely. Still, best not to take the chance if I can avoid it. Got another one. Wrong mode. Perfect. You can see just how much of a punch this thing. Whoops, overshot it. You have to take advantage of this, and that's not safe. Uh, you can see how much of a punch Pierce actually packs. One friend. Especially a max charge. Need to be a little bit careful while we collect this health. Health really does kind of rubber band. A single enemy can be really dangerous, but at the same time, that the precious health that they drop uh, can really sustain you through a lot. And I thought the fight was going to be much bigger than that, but we are finally at the control point right in front of the Black Rock Quarry. And I am dying to enter this zone. Still no new ability points. This is fine. What a shift in environment immediately. And yet... The way they have carved this place out, gotta finish that, uh, it still resembles the brutalist architecture that we've been uh, ensconced in this whole time. Whoop, not sure what happened there. We got a second wave. We're gonna have to get real creative about how we handle this so we don't get wrecked up here. We are out of energy. It's no problem. Yeah, the shield dudes were the priority. And again. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's really nice. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh no. Did miss that one. And can't be too much left, if anything. It sounds like the music has faded. God, this looks awesome. And it's all a product of the lighting. Or, or mainly a product of the lighting. Oh, there we go. I got myself turned around. These are some cool little platforms. Whoa. Not what I expected. And now, guys and gals, and non binary pals, the Blackrock Quarry. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell, and check the links in the description. Take it easy, have a good one, y'all.